You know what? Yeah, my review was pretty damn negative, but I've watched it and re-watched it a dozen times now and I 100% stand by everything I said. I don't give scores in my reviews though, and I didn't even tell you whether you should buy it or not in this one. Truth is, I do want you to buy it and try it for yourself, if you have even the vaguest interest in it. What I was hoping to do with my review was tell you exactly what you were in for. If I'd have known half the stuff I said in my review before I started playing, I might have actually enjoyed it a lot more. I don't want the game to fail, and I want other people to get more enjoyment out of it than I did, but I'm not going to lie to myself and all of you about the experience that I had. There was a chapter though, a chapter that broke me free from all negativity, a chapter I'd almost go as far as to say is worth playing the whole game for. It's got a lot of changes, and it's got a lot of additions, but they absolutely nailed it. Chapter 9 is what a Final Fantasy VII Remake means to me. It's the benchmark, and it should have been the blueprint. So let's lighten the mood in here and talk about Wall Market. I am going to try and limit spoilers as much as possible here, but in order to effectively communicate why I love this chapter so much, I am inevitably going to have to talk about some of the differences from the original and some of the brand new additions to this part of the game. I'm not going to talk about any of the major story events or pivotal moments because a lot of what happens in this chapter is somewhat self-contained, but you've been warned there may be something you consider a spoiler ahead. Anyway, as I already mentioned in the intro, Chapter 9 is the Wall Market chapter. Some people may know this section of the game better as the Don Corneo or Cross-Dressing Cloud segment from the original, but it's no longer solely about doing a ludicrous chain of item trades in order to get Cloud the best dress, perfume, and so on. Everything in this section of the story has been greatly expanded, and it starts with the introduction of three new characters. Each of them holds a pivotal double role within Wall Market. Chocobo Sam, for instance, well, I think you can guess what he controls, but along with their regular jobs, they also happen to know the exact type of girl that Don Corneo fancies. Not just any girl can rock up to Don Corneo's mansion and expect to get in, but a surefire way to do just that is to have one of the big three nominate or vouch for you. These narrative threads filter all the way down to Wall Market's image and design in the remake. In the words of a certain Jedi Master, You will never find the more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Wall Market is Midgar's red light district. It's the place you go for a bustling nightlife, but also the place less savory people might meet up because the only law here is the word of Don Corneo. It feels real, like a mafia or yakuza town with the big three each cornering a different piece of the market. The size and layout has been expanded and changed quite a bit to match its new image as a central hub for adult entertainment, gambling, and crime. It's actually quite confusing to navigate when you first arrive, with lots of hidden alleyways and new layers of verticality. It's chock full of people with tons of activity happening all around, the atmosphere is great, and it's one of the few areas in Midgar that offers a distinct look and quite a bit of colour. This chapter's structure is unlike the rest of the game in that it has sort of three distinct stages. It starts linear and focused, then stops and gives you an opportunity to do a couple of side quests before moving back towards the second stage of the narrative. It is technically one of the four side quest chapters, but there are much fewer side quests compared to the others. In fact, there are only two, where the others all start at at least six, but it was by far the chapter I spent the most hours in. The majority of the chapters in the game are story focused and linear in structure, and I was finishing most of them in 40 to 60 minutes. The first two side quest chapters extended to a couple of hours apiece, but I was in Wall Market for at least four hours. There might only be two official side quests, but Wall Market has quite a bit of optional content on top of that, and all of it makes sense and really brings the area to life. The absolute random silliness from the original is also all over this chapter in the remake. Even though you aren't running around trying to get Cloud a dress anymore, you are still able to compete in squatting contests at the gym, and the main side quest that comes mid-chapter is much like the ludicrous trade chain from the original. Get the drunk dressmaker guy to go back to the shop by getting his item back from the item shop guy who had already given the item to someone else, but he'll tell you who he gave it to if you get a different item for him, and so on. It escalates to insane silly proportions and just feels like Final Fantasy 7. 
That is basically the best way to describe Chapter 9 in the remake. It feels like Final Fantasy VII. So much of this section of the story is different. It doesn't play out like it does in the original. There are a ton of new characters and plot lines, but it's unmistakably Final Fantasy VII. I have to admit that I was a little worried about the addition of a Colosseum to this bit of the game, fearing that it was just going to be some poorly thought out padding, but it feels right at home here. It also plays an important role in the narrative and various plot lines of this chapter, and an important role in reminding us just how ridiculous the original game was at times. Some of the more nonsensical and random enemies from the original didn't make the cut in the remake, but the ones that did are probably going to be found in Wall Market. You will, of course, get to see Cloud in a dress as the plot lines from the remake and the original come together in one of the most amazing sequences the game has to offer. It comes out of nowhere and I wish I could show you some of the footage of it, but I really don't want to ruin it for you. There were times in the game as a whole I was angrily shaking my head in disbelief saying what the hell is this? But in this scene I said what the hell is this with a huge smile on my face unable to stop giggling. Once again, it was just unmistakably Final Fantasy VII. Chapter 9, Wall Market, Don Corneo, whatever you want to call this segment of the game, this is the bit they got really right. I enjoyed some of the other additions and changes as well, like Jessie for example. They took someone who only had a few lines in the original and turned her into a fleshed out, interesting character in her own right. Chapter 9 though, it's damn near perfect. Wall Market should be the blueprint for expansion moving forward into the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon.